Hello students. In the previous video, we have discussed about the colligative properties. Now in this video, we are going to discuss some numerical based on the colligative properties. First of all, whatever the equations or formula, we will revise them. For relative lowering of vapor pressure, this relation represents the relative lowering of vapor pressure and this is equal to the mole fraction of solute and if you put the values of x2, then you will get this one. Elevation of boiling point that is delta Tb is equal to Kbm. If we put the value of m that is molality, we will get this formula. And this is Tb that is boiling point of solution is the boiling point of your solvent plus elevation of boiling point. Next one is depression of freezing point. Delta Tf is equal to Kfm. If we put the value of this m molality, we will get this final formula and tf that is boiling point of solution is equal to bo sorry freezing point of solution is equal to freezing point of your solvent minus depression of freezing point osmotic pressure that is pi this is w2 r t divided by m2 v in all these formulas the subscript 2 is used for solute and 1 is used for solvent for example this is W2 mass of solute, W1 mass of solvent. This is M1, this is the molar mass of solvent and this is the molar mass of solute. Now let us discuss one by one. First one is the numerical based on the relative lowering of vapor pressure. The vapor pressure of pure benzene at certain temperature is given and non-volatile, non electrolyte solid weighing 0.5 gram when added to 39 gram of benzene and its molar mass is 78 gram mole gram per mole vapor pressure of the solution then is 0.845 bar what is the molar mass of the solid substance first of all find out what are the things given in the question this is vapor pressure of pure solvent is given P1, this is the vapor pressure of solution is given. This is M1, molar mass of solvent is given. This is W2, mass of solute is given. And W1, this is the mass of solvent is given. Now we use this formula. Put the values. This is P01, P1, this is P01 and all these formula. Then we will get this 170 gram per mole. Next, this is based on the elevation of boiling point and in this first we will find out the calculating boiling point of solution. 18 gram of glucose C6H12O6 is dissolved in 1 kilogram of water in a saucepan. At what temperature will water boil at 1.013 bar? Kb is given this case. First of all, what? We have to calculate we have to calculate at what temperature will water boil after adding glucose it means we have to find out the temperature of boiling temperature of solution and for this first we will find out the elevation of boiling point now again now find out what are the things given this is w2 mass of solute is given mass of solvent which is given in the kilogram we have converted into the gram this is kb is given in the kelvin kilogram per mole M2, we can find out the molar mass of glucose by adding the atopic masses of all the atoms. It will come 180 gram per mole. Now, this is the formula and put the values. Now, guys, one precaution you have to take care. This, all these values are given. This is in gram. This was given in the kilogram. We have converted into the gram. But this is given in the Kelvin kilogram per mole. And this is also in the gram per mole. This is given the kilogram. Is it necessary to convert this into gram? No, it is not necessary. Put as such in this formula. Then put the value. We will get this one. Again, one more thing you have to note down. This is the delta Tb is the difference of two boiling points. That is boiling point of solution minus boiling point of 
pure solvent sorry boiling point of solution plus boiling point of pure solvent then this difference may be expressed in the kelvin or it may be in the degree celsius but their magnitude will remain the same is it clear now boiling point of water this is 100 degree celsius or if we convert into the kelvin this is 373.15 kelvin now if we add this delta t b which we have calculated then this will come in the kelvin and this will come in the degree celsius next now in this case we will again discuss the numerical based on elevation of boiling point and in this we are calculating the molar mass of solute boiling point of benzene is given when 1.80 gram of non volatile solute was dissolved in 90 gram of benzene the boiling point is raised to 354.11 kelvin calculate the molar mass of solute and kb is again given again find out what are the things given delta tb naught it means boiling point of pure solvent is given this is tb boiling point of solution is given this w2 mass of solute is given w1 mass of solvent is given and this is kb is given and we have to find out m2 but before m2 first find out the elevation of boiling point delta tb and these values are given to us and again 0.88 kelvin if may be expressed in the degree celsius magnitude will remain the same put the value in this formula and we have written these values if you solve it this will come in the 57.5 gram per i think you have understood next this is this next based on the depression of freezing point in this case we will calculate the freezing point of solution 45 gram of ethylene glycol is mixed with 600 gram of water and calculate the freezing point depression and the freezing point of the solution kf is given again find out what are the values given w2 mass of solute is given w1 mass of solvent is given kf is given and this m2 we can find out from this formula first of all find out delta tf this is the formula we, which we will use put the value again guys don't change this into the gram and again 2.25 kelvin which is equal to 2.25 degree celsius because this is the difference it may be expressed in either kelvin or in the degree celsius magnitude will remain the same so this is our depression of freezing point okay now as we know freezing point of water is 0 degree celsius or in kelvin this is 273.15 now freezing point of solution this delta tf this have to subtract from that is subtract from the normal freezing point of water either we can represent the kelvin or in the degree celsius okay now next again this is the numerical which is based on the depression of freezing point and in this case we are calculating the molar mass of solute 1.80 gram of known electrolyte solute dissolved in 90 gram of benzene lowered the freezing point of benzene by 0 0.40 kelvin freezing point depression constant is given that is kf is given find out the molar mass of solute now again one thing this may also be given in the 0 0.40 degree celsius yeah we have to use only magnitude now this is w2 is 1.80 gram mass of solute this is mass of solvent kf is given delta tf is also given we have to find out the m2 again use the formula delta tf is equal to kf into w2 into 1000 divided by m2 into w1 Put the values and if you solve it it will come 256 gram per mole this is the molar mass of solute next this is based on the osmotic pressure 200 centimeter cube of an aqua solution that is volume of aqua solution is given 
contains 1.26 gram of protein the osmotic pressure of such a solution at 300 kelvin is found to be 2.57 into 10 to the power minus 3 bar calculate the molar mass of protein now first what are the things given find out pi is given osmotic pressure is given w2 mass of solute is given this is v volume of solution is given the centimeter cube convert this into the liter this is t and r use the value of r in liter bar per mole per kelvin that is 0 0.083 don't use in joule per kelvin per mole because in this case pressure is given in the bar and volume which is given in the centimeter cube we have converted in the liter okay then this is our formula put the value all the values if you put and if you solve it we will get this 61039 gram per mole so these are the some problems which are based on the equations of osmot uh, colligative properties i think all of you have understood this and i am sure that you have subscribed my channel if not yet please subscribe the channel okay, thanks